Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. How you doing, guys? Chef Lori is here. Surprise! I'm live! <laughs> Surprise! I'm usually only live on Thursdays, but you know. Oh, hold on. I wanted to make some guacamole tonight, and I said, well, why not share it with my people? How you guys doing? I'm going to give you guys a second to discover that I'm actually here and join me. It's Friday. Hello to Wanda. How you doing, girl? Good to see you. Let me know you're out there, guys. It is a Friday. We're going to call it, we're going to start, we'll call these pop-up lives, you know, like, you know how you have pop-up, um, uh, those little pop-up stores and stuff like that. This is a pop-up live. Hey, Jay, you're liking the pop-up? Okay, Jay, before, I'm going to be honest, girl, before I go any further with this pop-up, I have not made that rice yet. That rice has intimidated the mess out of me still, I think. <laughs> hey, Sarah, but I'm going to do it, Jay. I'm going to make that rice. How you doing, Sarah? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm doing a pop-up live, guys. You know, we ordered pizza tonight. I was going to make fish tacos, and um, because last night we made that blackened salmon that was bomb. I mean, seriously, it was bomb. But um, I was gonna do some halibut uh tacos tonight. Y'all, I didn't feel like cooking nothing. So I came in and <laughs> I was like, forget that. We ordered pizza like we do most times. And I was gonna decide I wanted to make some guacamole because everybody in my house loves guacamole. So I said, well, why don't I just make it with my peeps? You know what I'm saying? So this is not an official live. Well, that's kind of a dumb thing to say, because if I'm here and I'm live, I'm obviously officially live. Whatever. <laughs> okay, Jay says she wasn't going to mention that rice. No, I'm going to show it, but I'm going to own it too if I, if I messed up, I, I, if I didn't do it. So I'm going to start making this guacamole. Okay, Sarah, I see you too. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let you guys kind of see my process. I'm going to change the camera angle. I'm going to uh, push it down because I love guacamole. So, okay. So first things first, I hope you can, you can kind of see. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. You can kind of see my face. Okay. We're going to work it out, y'all. <laughs> okay. So I've got some yellow onions here. And I, they're already chopped up. So I'm just going to take out about... Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you how I really cook. This is why, th this is the one part of cooking videos that's challenging for me. Hey, sweetie in New Zealand, I see you. I'm going to tell you what's challenging for me about cooking in videos is I don't like to measure when I cook. You know what I'm saying? My head is cut off, but that's a personal issue. I'm going to be okay. I don't like to measure when I cook. And the reason I don't like to measure is because I like, I cook, you know what I'm about to say? I cook from the heart. I mean that thing. And so, can you hear my kids? You hear my kids in there? They're in the office playing. And they're they're playing. I told them they didn't have to be, you know, all fancy because this is not a this is not official. But see, um, I don't like measuring. Right? So I'm not putting down the measurements. I'm this is just how I cook for real. I took an avocado, I just cut that baby open, and I'm gonna scoop out the middle. That's it's like that simple. Guacamole is so dang easy. Who likes guacamole? I can't be the only one that likes guacamole. Sarah, you're the same way. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about you don't like to measure, do you? I, I just, I don't mind. I do it when I have to, guys, because I want you guys to, you know, everybody don't cook like that. And so, and I and I respect that. I respect the fact that people are trying and want to learn how to cook more. So I'm not going to sit up here and complicate it, you know, on purpose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? So... Anyway, when I'm doing the, I usually put the measurements down, but I'm not. I'm just opening this guac up, these avocados up. I like my guacamole spicy. Do y'all like your guacamole spicy? I, I don't know. I love everything spicy. I think y'all know that about me. But you know the trip about this? Sorry. 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 <laughs> the trip is I did not like eating spicy food as a kid. As I mean, as a matter of fact, as a kid, I couldn't stand anything spicy. If it was spicy, I was the first one not eating it. And now, everything I cook is hot. But I'm not going to make this crazy spicy because the pizza's on the way. And my daughter and I, well, my whole family, but especially my daughter and I, love guacamole. So here's how I cut my guac, my avocados. Y'all know I'm not a real chef. I'm a lady at home with a funny name, right? Okay, so I take it and I just go down like this. Oops. I don't have big knife skills, 
okay? I cook like people at home cook. And then you just kind of turn it and it opens. They're just really simple. But I got part of that technique from Master King Chef J-Rod. Have you guys watched him? He's awesome. But he does a really good technique. He, he's a real chef. Like, he went to culinary school, I think. But anyway, he has a technique for it. It, it works, but... Most of the time I find out I've been doing the technique anyway and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> so tell me something. What y'all got planned for this weekend? What y'all doing? Anybody got anything fun planned for the weekend? I need y'all to see my head. I'm going to scoot back, push this back a little bit so you can see. See, my head is too big and my hair is too short for me to cut it off. You know what I mean? If I do this and that's like, I already got a five head, y'all. I do. I've had a five head all my life. I was born with it. It's from the Johnson side of the family. If any of my Johnson cousins are watching, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about with these big old Johnson foreheads we got. Like, I don't understand that. We all have them. And my cousins are pretty too, but we all got these great big old things. Okay, Lyle says, can we, you go, really, Lyle says they go through 20 avocados a week. It is possible. I was going to make avocado salsa with this to go with those um, tacos I was thinking about making, y'all. But a sister ain't feeling like cooking no tacos. So these are some onions I had cut up. I cut up onions because, you know what? Wait. <laughs> Y'all, Lyle called me head net tub. <laughs> yes. Yes, they called me five head in school. Hurt my feelings. I'm damaged. I'm damaged. <laughs> anyway, I've got my three avocados in here. Okay, so we're starting there three avocados. We're making from the heart. I love this little doohickey right here. I got to find a link for it on Amazon so you guys can get one too. And you know what I love most about these little pop-ups? This is a pop-up live we're calling this. I see uh, aiming and claiming chain smokers. Hey, guys. Now, y'all be honest with me, okay? If my random chatter gets to be too much, just say, stay on topic, girl. Stay on topic. And I'm telling you, I won't. This is a pop-up. You know what I mean? Pop-up is when we can just be real. You, you know what I'm saying? We just popping up. Okay, hold up. Where's, what's all, he said, what's up to Lyle? Yeah, Lyle's over there. So, okay. Yeah, I, you know what, Sarah, you would love this. This thing helps you chop so much. And my buddy in New Zealand, we got to find a link so you can have these too. And, and you just do the, the basic chop, and then you just go back and rock with it. Like that. And I could put it in the food processor and everything, and that would be fun. But I just don't, I'm not trying to dirty up no whole bunch of dishes tonight. You know what I'm saying? She said, somebody said something, a good avocado and your favorite salsa. You know you're right. Yeah, that's true. Avocado and salsa combined, I'm telling you. I was thinking about doing um like an avocado with um, corn and onions and something in it as a, as a, a salsa for those tacos. But I'm going to do something else with that halibut. It looks really good. Okay, so now you see how this, look at this. Can you guys see how nicely that chopped that up real quick? Isn't that neat? So this was about what I do, two thirds cup or so. So I'm just gonna drop those in there and we'll find out if we need more. We'll find out if it's enough, you know? I don't even have my fancy cameras and lights set up, you guys. This is just me with my computer making some guacamole. I said, I'm gonna hook my people up because I'm gonna talk to my family and this is how we roll. Okay. So, I have most of my stuff out. I'm not measuring tonight, guys. I'm doing my real cooking. Can you see this? I'm just going to take a fork. This is, how, this is how country I can be. I'm just going to take a fork and mash these up. Just like that. And then I'm going to add a bunch of salt because y'all know guacamole don't have no... Well, avocados don't have a lot of flavor. So, hold on. Let me get a spoon here. This is how I cook for real. Okay. Oh, that was messy. Oh, got my five head in there again. Okay. Let's put some salt in. I have some fresh limes, but again, I do not feel like dealing with all that. So I'm just going to use the lime juice here. And I got some minced garlic here. Y'all know me and my garlic. Where's that other fork at? Let's see. I, you know, I love my newly designed kitchen. Okay, so I'm gonna put some garlic in there. How much am I put? I don't know. I'm just putting enough in. <laughs> I'm having such a good time with y'all. This is, you know, this is why I started recording cooking because 
of this. You know what I mean? Like so many good things are happening. Thanks you guys for appreciating my attitude. <laughs> it's not bad. I just, I got into this and over the recording of it for the fun of it. You know what I'm saying? And for being able to just reach out and touch people and just have a good time. And I don't want to lose that with everything else happening. Okay. Now I'm going to put in here. Y'all know what this is. Y'all know me. I got my cayenne pepper. Oh man. Okay. I got to have some cayenne in here. I'm not, you're saying, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, where are the tomatoes? Y'all, I don't like tomatoes. So I don't put any in my guacamole. That's why I want, that's probably why I started cooking all this kind of stuff myself is so I could make it taste like I wanted it to taste. And I don't like tomatoes in there. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You're the best. Okay. So I'm going to taste this. Let me see. Okay. I got these chips today at Harris Teeter. Have you guys ever seen these? Have you ever seen these? They're called uh, green, oh, mild green mojo multi-grain tortilla chips. Have anybody ever seen these before? I've never seen these. But they caught my attention, and I'm going to try them. I'm going to try them with my guacamole. Okay, let me see. Lyle said, yes, Lyle, I got the Ninja, Ninja Coffee Pot. I'm going to tell you all about coffee in a minute, too. Hold on. And... Okay, let's see. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. Ready for the cilantro. Oh man. That was good. But you know what? I'm gonna taste it with the pita. I don't think I have any plain chips around. I think I ate them all. Cause um oh I tasted it with the without the cilantro first. That ain't the truth, y'all. I forgot it. <laughs> Got it. Okay. This is how you really make good guacamole. Okay, hold on. I got some plain pitas here. Well, y'all know what kind of coffee we just started drinking up in here. Okay. Hold on. One thing at a time, y'all. I'm excited. Okay, one thing at a time. Y'all know I can run my mouth and just talk, 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 talk. And then I get these little nasty comments. You talk too much. I'm like, well, find another channel. Y'all know I talk all the time. <laughs> That's what I do. What's she saying? Oh, hold on. It's a comment. She said, yeah, these chips are good. I actually like them. I was in Target last week and saw some good chips, but hold on. I'm going to tell you about coffee. Okay. So I'm going to taste this on a pita. I always recommend tasting your guacamole on something kind of plain. The chip was good, though. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's not altering the flavor of the guacamole and I'm not missing something. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. This is the best dog on guacamole I've made in a long time. I don't know how much or what I put in it. I'm not going to double dip, though, because my kids will get me. But I'm going to turn the other side, the other angle, and put it on here. Oh, wow. I need to get Maddie to come taste this. Mmm. No. Mm. They can have a pizza. I want the guacamole. Maddie! <laughs> Take call my daughter. You want to come taste this? It's really good. I don't have to do anything to this. This is unbelievable. Let me see what she says, though, because she's, um, she's brutally honest. She got that from her daddy. Miss Moo, I call her Miss Moo, Maddie Moo. Miss Moo, you want to taste this guacamole I made? That's really good. Come say hi to the people. They're on here. We're live. Oh. Hi. That's my girl. Look, look, look. This is my ready to do our cheese. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Ah. <laughs> See, Aiden, my little guy, is the ham. But, um. Me <laughs> Can I eat now? I want you to try this guacamole. I want to try the guacamole. I didn't measure or anything. Tell me what you think, okay? You can tell me honestly. She's brutally honest. Sometimes I say, be nice. Don't be honest. Look, our heads are cut off. Yeah. See, she got the head too. What do you think? Oh, she likes it. So if Maddie likes it, it must be good. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even I don't even know what I put in it. I didn't measure. I just did like I do. You know how I like to do and I just cook. Try this chip. Have you tried these? Have you seen these? Did you see I got these? Try it. Mm-hmm. 
You know, we'll take it out because if we double dip, they're going to tell everybody we double dip and your brothers will find out. But Richard, the oldest one, Richard doesn't like guacamole. <laughs> what do we say? If you don't like something around here, we have one for you. What do we say? More, more for, for us. <laughs> she said more for me, more for us. Okay, you guys, I'm going to tell you about the coffee now. Here. I'm going to tell you about the coffee and then we're going to chill. So, we, those are good, aren't they? They've got, look at this. They've got chia and quinoa and millet. Millet, millet, millet. Probably, probably. Millet. It's probably millet. It's probably millet. Flax. I'm not even going to try to say that one. Amaranth. 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 Okay. Looks good. What you guys saying? Uh, thank you. It's my channel. That's right. Never measure your... It is about the taste. And the only reason I sometimes... but Well, not the only, but well, yeah. The reason I write down measurements is because people want to cook um, a recipe and they don't know how... You know where to start, and I want to honor that. But I like cooking like this. This was good. So okay, coffee. Yeah. yeah. Which one, Mopita? Okay. Get a bowl here. I'll get a bowl. So here's the deal with the coffee, right? We started. My, my sister-in-law um, makes this Ethiopian coffee, right? And it is unbelievably good. And my husband and I have been wanting to do this, try this, find this coffee forever. But she. How she makes it is not um, just making coffee. Did you see that? She took, well, I didn't, those are not both. Yes, they Here, are. take this with you and your phone. So anyway, um, she roasts the beans herself. And so you get these, you order these green beans. They're green coffee beans. If you guys know what I'm talking about. I hope they're not really green beans. They come, no, but they come green. You called them green beans. Okay, they're green coffee beans. They're unroasted. And when they when you get them, they come unroasted. Here, take this to you and your father. Dad can try some. I'll be the only one. I'm almost done. Okay. Okay, so they come unroasted. And then what you do is you have to roast them on the over over fire, over heat. And as you roast them, the chaff and everything comes off. It's really amazing. It takes my husband like 20 minutes to roast them. And then he grinds them. And it is so... I think he's in the office. Look at this, you guys. Hold on. And then he grinds them up, and we have our own coffee beans. I mean, our own coffee grounds. And it's fresh Ethiopian coffee, and it's mm, it's so smooth and so rich. It is so stinking rich and smooth. But it's it's also, it's just a nice, hearty, just a good. You know, you know what I mean. Like it's not a light coffee. It's definitely a dark roast. But it's absolutely delicious, and it's so smooth. So I love I love that he puts one in the basement. See if Aiden wants to try some. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's really, really good. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to have to hook you guys up with this coffee thing. I don't, we don't have any more beans. We order like three to five pounds at a time and we've gone through all, it's y'all, we didn't got to the point now where we don't even like to buy coffee in the store. We will only buy these beans and then Shane will be like, all right, let me get in here and roast these beans. And then we roast up like, you know, two, three pounds at a time. It is so delicious. So, okay, we need to order more beans because this is like, we're getting down. There might be a little bit left up there, but I think that's it. So, but the next time we get a bean shipment in, which I'll probably order it in the next day or so, what I'll do is I'll see if I can get him to, well, you know, he doesn't like to record, be on the camera. But I'll see if he can show me, if I can talk him into showing you guys how he roasts them and then how we grind them and go through that whole process. It is un. Believable. I absolutely love it. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys up because I know we're having fun hanging out. I love hanging out with you guys. This is the best. This is just a pop-up video. This is a pop-up of some awesome guacamole that I have no idea what the measurements were for. I may try to go back and watch this again and see if I can find, <laughs> figure out what I did. I think I have my general guacamole recipe someplace. I'll post it somewhere. But thanks, you guys, for hanging out with a sister. And what you said, Jay said, my mom, yes, your mama says putting your foot in. That's exactly what it is. When you just cook it and you're like, mm, 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 that's what you do. You guys have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. Enjoy yourself. Do something you love. Push yourself. Challenge yourself. Don't give in to the fear. I will see you guys on the next pop-up video. I don't know when it'll be. If I knew when it was going to be, it wouldn't be a pop-up. I know I'll be live Thursday night at 8.15, <laughs> but in the meantime, we'll do another pop-up at some point. You never know. Keep your eyes open. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed... Let me get my mouth straight. Have a blessed week. I love you.
I love you. I appreciate you. Mwah.